We have Director Steve Chanley and Beryl Esmeyer, Project Manager, and we're going to get an update with uh, their team from Barry Dunn on the Community Recreation Center. So folks, come on up, and if you can introduce your, uh, your uh, team members here for us. And we have a presentation up on the screen, and this is also in your books on page um, tab number six, item two, pages two through 21. All right. Welcome. Thank you all for uh, giving us a few minutes to give you guys an update uh, on what's going on. Uh, this has been a long process, the rec center uh, uh, feasibility study. Um, it started actually back in um, late January, I'm sorry, late February. We finally got underway working with our consultants, Barry Dunn, uh, Mr. Tom Deal and Mr. Pat O'Toole that are here before you. Um, it's been a, <laughs> a good long process, a good learning process. Um, they have found out a lot of things about the county and our desires, or I should say the citizens' desires for what they're looking for in um, recreational activities. Um, we started out, uh, just real quick, we've had a number of sites that we um, decided to look at. We started out with four, which were representative of, of different areas of the county to make sure that it was equitable. Um, and then we have been working with these gentlemen here and we've narrowed it down to two sites, and I don't want to take all of their thunder, so I'm going to let you go ahead, or let them go ahead and present their findings to you all. Thanks, Steve. Okay, we'll go through very briefly the, the PowerPoint that's in your packet. Uh, the first slide is the floor plan area of uh, the rec center uh, that would fit on both sites. It, has in it a multi-purpose two basketball court gymnasium, four to five multi-purpose classrooms, conference meeting spaces, and a kitchen, and staff offices. The next slide, I'm not gonna go into the details, but you see the red figures on the, uh, the PowerPoint are the square footage of each of those areas that I, I just described uh, that come up to a, a gross square footage of 38,250 uh, square feet. We also had worked with a, a $20 million budget. We're just slightly north of that with, with those plans. But we also put, to make sure they would fit on the site in any future years, the next uh, priorities that the public told us they'd like to see. Uh, so we have in dotted lines the future aquatic center, a future indoor turf uh, field, and a future ice arena. And the square footage of those as well as the capital costs. As Steve said, we narrowed down the two uh, most popular sites based on our site analysis. Uh, Davidson Farm Park being one of them. Uh, the site here we included some uh, road improvements coming into the site, um, and the total cost of the project would be uh, 24321000 And at Kudner, which was the second site, um, the total cost opinion was right at $24 million. Um, Again, both fit on the site. Kudner, we were able to put a, a uh, walking track in there, which includes a second floor elevator and, and stairwell in there uh, in lieu of the uh, roadway at the other one. I'm going to walk you through the performer at a high level. So we looked at what we call our operating costs and we have two different things that are listed here. Uh, an analysis of using the existing staff and benefits and including those, what the operating costs would be and the potential cost recovery. And then also we've indicated what the cost would be if we don't include the existing staff because you're already paying for that. And that shows that you'd end up with an, a net expense of 55,000 and a cost recovery of almost 91%. We've- The revenues from membership and events. Yeah, th there's revenues are from uh, memberships, programs, and, and rentals. The, the next slide is a five-year pro forma, and this just shows how things would move out over five years, and we 
basically looked at this as if the facility was up and running and the programs and everything were, were fully running. And then we've just projected out with the CPI an increase of what the additional staffing would cost and what the additional revenue might bring in. And it keeps you pretty much baseline of, again, if you've already are factoring in the staff costs that you already have, almost a 91% cost recovery and a difference of goes from 55,000 up to 62 over five years, the actual additional costs to the county to operate the facility. And then this is just an overall kind of overview. Again, as Pat said, the amenities are between 32,000 and 38,000 square feet. Multi-purpose, two basketball court gymnasium. One plan has a suspended running track and a second floor. Four to five multi-purpose uh, classrooms, conference room, meeting spaces, a kitchen, and room for staff. Uh, the cost, the capital program, Davison, a little over 24 million. And the capital uh, program costs for cutting are just under 24 million. They're very close. And the operating net cost, again, either facility, $55,735 a year, giving you a cost recovery of almost 91%, which is very good. The impact to the county's operating budget for the first year is $55,735 is what is projected. Here we're sharing with you the current and future operating costs. So if you look, the Recreation Division, uh, we looked at what they're doing in fiscal year 2024. The net operating costs on the left side, they're spending approximately $686,929 for their operating costs. When you add the new facility and the additional 55,000, you would be spending 742,664. So building this facility, the cost to actually operate it would only be an additional 55,000 $735 annually is what's projected. The uh, next steps in our study are to finish up our cost benefits and the economic impact that we're looking at, to finish our draft report, share that with the staff, uh, and then to come back in November and uh, finalize the feasibility study, all the different portions, chapters of that, and then uh, to share with the community stakeholders in the community in December. We just wanted to make everyone aware that we have had a social pinpoint site, an opportunity for people to give feedback throughout the process. It's still opening up. People can go here, click on this site, and give feedback about tonight's presentation and everything we've been doing throughout the project. And we've been posting all of the, the documents that need to be posted there. And other than that, that's our brief presentation. We wanted to make sure we had time for you to ask any questions and us to provide answers. So uh, on page four, the illustration is multi-purpose group exercise. Is that a gym with exercise equipment? And no. You're talking about the, what is there? Yeah, is the right. for 900, 900 square feet? Right. Yeah. Yes. That is a multi-purpose space that you could do like a uh, group aerobics, you could oh, okay. do yoga, things like that. Okay. You could also use it for other, you know, you could have a okay. classroom function. Yep. It also has a dividing wall in there too, so you can have, you know, two smaller right. sections or you can have one large room depending on what that activity or, or meeting is to be held in that space. Okay. Are those regulation size basketball courts? Those are so in, in high, high school? High school regulation, yes. And they're laid out appropriately so there's space between the two courts. You can drop a curtain. You could put team benches on, yeah. you know, the sides and things like that. Could have a banquet? Depending <laughs> on what the, uh, the banquet is, um, depending on the number of people and exactly what takes place. You know, one of the things is, you know, it's, it's a great uh, wide open space. I'm assuming you're talking about the, the multipurpose gymnasium, yeah. right? You know, you want to protect the flooring that's there. So again, you know, you have to kind of see what the activity is. You know, it's, it's nice to have a big gala or what have you, but you don't want it at the cost of the floor and the um, other amenities that are in there. So you have to be smart about what, what you um, allow in there. 
Steel building, is that what you base that pricing on? The, the, the large span is, is, is a steel building, I, I believe, and then the, the other part of the building, you know, would have brick facade, everything would have a brick facade and things like that, but it was a, a, a solid facility, but economical, and something that was designed specifically for the, the firm that we worked with, CHA, you know, they're planning this for your county, your location. Mm -hmm. It always gets quiet when you get into the 20 plus million, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Big shells. Anybody else have any more questions? Any comments? All right. No news is good news in this case, huh? So, all right. Away we go. So, Thank again, you. One, one thing I'd like to say is you know, we, we put them on a tight timeline right. by, by finishing up by December, obviously because of the impending um, budget schedule that, that takes place. So we wanted to get some sort of dollar figure so when we submit our, our capital budget projects for, uh, for the upcoming fiscal year, you know, we submit them in uh, December, take a look at them again in January. So um, they've been great to work with and, um, you know, we got, a lot, like I said, a lot of good information and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to move forward and be able to present something to, to you guys in um, December and January for a capital project. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it.